Let's simplify ETFs and how they work. Exchange Traded Fund or an ETF is essentially a type of marketable security that works like an open-ended mutual fund. Simply put, ETFs track indexes, commodities, bonds or other basket of assets just like mutual funds, but they are bought and sold over exchanges like common stock. When it comes to ETFs, DMAT account holders can practically buy a diversified fund as a single stock. Unlike mutual funds, the counterparty is always other unit holders instead of an asset management company. On exchange terminals, each unit of an ETF is closely replicating the market performance of the underlying index. This also indicates that ETFs generally function without an active fund manager. ETFs come with an active risk of tracking error. In rare cases, ETFs can fail to mimic the benchmark returns in real time. Thus, good ETFs are usually the ones with lower tracking error. ETFs can be used to invest across different asset classes, from fixed income to assets like equities and commodities. As a matter of fact, several factors impact the liquidity of an ETF. These include the asset class in which an ETF is invested in, market capitalization of the security and the risk profile of the underlying securities. It is also worth noting that different ETF products have different levels of trading volume during market hours. And that's how they derive liquidity in a secondary market for the redemption process each day, all without a fund company. ETFs have become a popular choice among investors who are looking to diversify their portfolio without having to spend time and effort in managing and allocating their investments. But not all ETFs are suitable for every investor. So, analyze your risk profile, liquidity and time horizon before making any investment decision. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risk. Read all scheme-related documents carefully. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to never miss an update from HDFC Securities. To watch all the episodes, click on the link in description.